What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Tesla video. In this one, I wanna talk about a web app called Tesla Scoop. Uh, it is similar to Teslify in the sense that it is a data application that gives you really cool information about your Tesla and it is just an alternative. I actually saw this one posted on Reddit a while back and I just wanted to give it a try and show you guys how it functions and works. Uh, unlike Teslify, you pay once and you get access to both cars. So you can see here I have Mother Frunker and What the Frunk. Uh, just from the dashboard screen, you can see Mother Frunker's charged to 84% and What the Frunk really needs a charge at 30%. So I got to plug that in. Um, so going into this a little bit further, if you hit view, left side here, it gives you information about the battery and things like that climate. On the right, it gives you the current location and it is a picture of the car on a map. Uh, just for privacy reasons, this part will be blurred out. You guys won't be able to see it. As you continue to scroll down, you have recent drives and recent charge sessions. So it gives you like the last one of each uh, and recent vehicle updates. I haven't had this long enough to have software updates. I just kind of wanted to try it out and compare it to Teslify. So if we go to recent drives, uh, let's go to view all. And then once again, we're gonna scroll down. So you can see here on name drive, on name drive and you can just go back and you can just rename them to whatever you like. But if you click any one of these drives, uh, it gives you your drive efficiency, your average speed, average temperature. Uh, it tells you this drive was one day ago with a duration of 30 minutes and a distance of 40 kilometers. If you scroll down, it tells you exactly at every point of the drive, uh, your kilometers, your battery percentage, temperature inside and outside and uh, all sorts of really cool information. So uh, you have drives, charges, and then explore, which is like statistical stuff. Let's see uh, charges. The one thing I like about Teslify versus this is Teslify gives you a money aspect in terms of like how much you're spending to charge. Whereas this is like, this gives you like nice graphs, energy added, battery level and charge rate. And then it, again, it's all like statistical data every four minutes. Uh, but Teslify gives you the actual amount that it's going to cost you, which is a nice uh, difference between the two. So, I mean, this one does look nice. If you just want to see like lifetime drives, uh, it tells you the map of where you've driven, uh, your top speed, your average speed, longest drive, average drive. It gives you all that type of information. And this website is really nice to look at, but I find that it gives you less information than Teslify. So even this, even though this one's three dollars a month, and Teslify is five dollars a month, I personally would lean more towards Teslify. But again, I just want to give you guys a another option, or you know, just something else to look at. Maybe one of you guys will like this more. So I thought I'd publish this and uh, let you guys see this and give it a go. Uh, the most kilometers driven. This is kind of cool. Ninety nine thousand kilometers. <laughs> 99,900 kilometers, so he's about to hit break uh, the 100,000 kilometer marker uh, while being on this app, while this app is tracking his data. So uh, what do you guys think of this? Do you guys prefer Tesla Scoop, Tesla Fi, or do you prefer something else, something that I haven't covered yet on this channel? Leave a comment down below, let me know. Uh, do like the video if it was helpful or if you enjoyed this content. And make sure you guys do subscribe for the latest and greatest Tesla content. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.